Hello gents, welcome back to another video of strategy series. In this video, we'll be discussing about the most important chapters that you need to study in order to maximize your score for BITSAT 2022. We'll also discuss about the chapters which are not that important and you may skip them. So let's begin with the video. So firstly, coming to the 11th standard side of the story, here I've split up the 11th standard chapters into three uh, major categories important other important and not important coming to category one which is important here i have basically included all those chapters that are important of course and uh, that basically dominate the bit site examination okay so these are the chapters from which questions are being frequently asked in bit site over the years okay firstly how did i make this up i basically went through bit site previous year papers and so uh, from which uh, chapters questions are being frequently asked okay and that is how i was able to make this video in first place okay so yes uh, in the important category now let's see which chapters are included in the important uh, category so here basically we have the mechanics section so in that we have six chapters which is from chapter one to chapter six okay so we have units and dimensions motion in a straight line motion in a plane laws of motion work power energy and rotational motion okay so if you see the question papers from uh, 2010 to 2020 you'll uh, often see that uh, the weightage is quite uniform among this chapter okay and it's present in every uh, every bit side paper that you see okay so one two questions from each of this topic in every bit side paper that's what makes uh, these topics very very important as far as bit side is concerned okay so yes these are the topics that you should solely focus on and should not think of skipping okay so next we have in category two other important chapters these are chapters that might occasionally dominate your bit side paper by domination now i mean that uh, four questions directly from these topics okay so i've seen uh, some question papers that in which fluids has directly dominated like four questions uh, from fluid in a single bit side paper oscillation has also dominated in some bit side papers waves has also dominated in some others okay so these are also important topics okay so uh, some some they just like to play around with this topics okay so sometimes they might reduce the number of questions from the mechanic section and increase the number of questions from this four topics okay and these topics might dominate over that okay so again these topics are equally important okay you uh, you'll never know if they'll play around with this or they will stick to the mechanic part okay finally coming to the not uh, important category these are this is the category which i wouldn't recommend but if you are running out of time and if you don't have time to cover up your entire theory these are the chapters that you might consider skipping although i wouldn't recommend uh, skipping any chapter okay so these are uh, topics from thermal physics you'll see only one or two questions are uh, being asked in a bit set paper from this topics okay so uh, even in that we have the order thermal properties of matter is a little bit significant than thermodynamics and kinetic kinetic theory of gases okay so basically uh, kinetic theory of gases uh, questions are asked very occasionally okay if you see one question this year um, it, the question might be alternate next year you won't see any question from that topic next year you might see okay so it's uh, very very occasional uh, for questions to be asked from this topic okay thermal properties of matter you might see one or two questions in the bit side paper okay thermodynamics also one hardly one question from uh, from thermodynamics in a given bit side paper and elastic uh, elasticity also only one or two questions from elasticity uh, not in every bit side paper it also it is also asked occasionally in bit side okay so again questions uh, from elasticity are majorly from young's modulus we discussed in this in the faq series right now that is about the 11th standard let's come to the 12th standard uh, side of the story so for 12th standard 2 i have split up the chapters into three uh, different categories important other important and not important now you know what that means so let's hop into the important category so here you'll see that we have electrostatic chapters basically so we have electric field and charges 
and electrostatic potential. We will also find current electricity and moving charges. So these are the topics from which questions are being frequently asked, okay, and which are important, of course. So even in uh, these four chapters, if I had to pinpoint two, I would say current electricity and moving charges. These are the most important topics. I've seen many papers in which uh, these two topics single-handedly or double-handedly uh, basically dominate the entire paper okay so you'll see directly four questions from current electricity directly four questions from moving charges within a single paper sometimes okay so these are the most important topics and these are also important okay so questions are being frequently asked from this four topics now coming to the other important topics now this is a very split okay the the weightage is uniformly split uh, split among this topic okay sometimes uh, one chapter may be favored over the other but these are also equally important as this okay so one to one to questions from each chapters from here okay so you cannot leave on this questions okay every question counts every mark count right so yes uh, in other important topics which are equally important as this we have ray optics wave optics atoms and nuclei so atomic physics is important semiconductors and communication system i've grouped them together so from semiconductors and the communication system chapter 14 and 15 you'll see that uh, every bit set paper okay over from 2010 uh, to 2020 you'll find at least one question from almost all of this paper is from semiconductors okay so yes you will at least have one question from semiconductor or communication system in the bit side paper that you are going to answer okay so you should not neglect it okay so if you are not aiming for one question then of course you can slide it down into not important but again a one sure question so yeah it's equally important okay so finally we come to do uh, dual nature yeah that is also an important chapter okay for uh, bit set now finally uh, coming to the last category which is the not important category you may skip this chapters but i wouldn't recommend it okay so in this we have magnetism and matter questions are being occasionally asked pretty much occasionally asked from this topic okay and all often are theory based electromagnetic induction only one question may be asked over two years so alternate type uh, chapter okay so and that two questions are famous from only one topic which is motional emf okay again ac means uh, alternate type questions may be asked okay this year question may be asked directly next year next year it won't be asked next year okay so yes that is the pattern it follows okay generally and finally we have electromagnetic waves which is again uh, very much occasional okay just like magnetism and matter uh, electromagnetic waves is pretty much occasional so that's all about the weightage of 11th and 12th standard chapters for bitsat so the major motive of this video was to just get you focused on the important chapters although i have mentioned in a blurry way that you could skip over the not important chapters i would not recommend doing it majorly because bitsat is also a theory completion game the more you know the better okay so basically when you're skipping a not important chapter you are minimizing the risk okay but the fact is that you are still at a risk okay so i just want to uh, i just wanted to bring that to your notice so that's all from today's video i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you soon in the next one till then happy strategizing